Hey, it's Amy Green with Amy and Art Designs. How are you doing tonight? It is Friday. It's a little later than normal, but um, if you guys saw my live earlier today, they delivered our pool and they craned that sucker in. And um, <laughs> anyway, the kids had to go swimming. <laughs> so it's like I, I had everything ready to like cut and um and hop on and um craft with y'all and nate decided to get in the pool <laughs> i mean it's surrounded with gravel so i took a cute little clip and i put it in my story so if you like click my profile picture you'll see um him swimming in our pool the first swimmer in the pool he he just couldn't wait so I'm so glad you're here. We're going to paint a patriotic set tonight. I'm going to show you kind of a little variation on what we did last week. Um, and say hi. Let me know you're here. Let me know where you're watching from. And if you've been crafting, let me tell me what you've been crafting. Crafting. Hey, Juanita. I'm also going to um, share my Friday faves. You guys know I've been doing that on Friday mornings. But with the pool delivery this morning, everything got a little sidetracked. So. I'm glad you're here. Let me know you're here. Say hi. I know that there, it's like there's a little bit of a delay on Facebook. So I see we've got some people watching. Um, I just see Juanita's um, little hello so far. So let's start with Friday faves. Right now I'm just peeling the tape off my wood and then we'll get started with the crafting. But let's start with Friday faves. Oh, hey, Kim. Hey, Lisa. And how are you guys? Hey, Chris. How's your Friday been? Um, hey, Miss Donna. Oh, hey, Jen. You just got power back on. Okay, so you, if you guys didn't know, like, Jen, um, they were out of power all day. And so, that's wild. Girl, I'm glad you guys got power back on. How hot is it down there, too? Holy moly. Oh, we have a new. Yes, if you're new. Okay, if you're new, let us know you're new so we can give you a warm welcome. Michelle's new from Kentucky. Hey, Michelle, I'm in Ohio, not far from you, probably. Which part of Kentucky are you in? We're glad you're here. Um, do you craft? Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, and um, I'm in central Ohio, so... Yes, we have some um, West Virginia, Virginia, Kentucky. We have a lot of us around in this, Michigan, around in this. Area. Oh, you're in Louisville. All right. So I, um, my dad grew up in Aberdeen, Kentucky, which is, or Aberdeen, Kentucky, Aberdeen, Ohio, which is right across the river from Maysville, Kentucky. And we used to walk across that bridge. We go and visit my granny and we walk across the bridge from Aberdeen to Maysville. And we thought that was like, so fun. We're glad you're here. So yeah, Jen left me a bunch of boxers, actually boxers. I knew what you meant, but I didn't see that you wrote boxers. And cause you always give me crap. I'm giving you crap. So, <laughs> so, okay. We're going to paint a patriotic set, but first I'm going to, um, I'm going to do a few of my Friday faves. Um, cause I didn't get to do those this morning, but I want to say hi to everybody. Hey, Juanita. So Juanita's here, Lisa Ann. Kim, Miss Chris, Donna, who won the glue gun and the Joyful Crafting Club, the Sherbonder glue gun, everyone, Jen, she's been out of power, golly gee, Miss Michelle's here, Dana, hey Dana, oh, Deanna, okay, we're glad everybody's here. Oh, and Mary Beth. Hey, Mary Beth. Yeah, so guys, Juanita's going to pull some names for me tonight while we're chatting. So sprinkle this out. Spread the joy. She's going to pull names from that and from, from just general commenting, sharing, chatting. Oh, Miss Gail's here from Wisconsin. Hey, Gail. The boys... <laughs> The boys, yeah, everyone, but yeah, all three of them were in there swimming. It was Nate first, and then the other two got in. Gabe's not a fan of the cold. We could barely get Luke out. So, I don't, I mean, once once it's actually, like, finished, it's going to be great. But uh, Joe, and Joe is about to blow a gasket because it's, like, dirty. Like, they just fill it up to keep it in the 
ground. Yeah. So, ah, uh, hey, thank you, Mary Beth, for the sprinkle. Thank you, Kim. Look at these sprinkles. All right. So, I've got three Friday faves. I only have three tonight because of Joe says hi. I've got three tonight because we're going to craft two. But my first one, and she doesn't know I'm even going to do this, is Canvas Sign Designs, like my friend Jen. So um, she has something called the Sign Maker Society. And if you want to learn to paint door hangers, that's the place to go. And so Juanita's going to drop that link for you. I'm going to email it out too. And if you watch the replay on YouTube, I'm going to have all that in the description. Um, but first is Sign Maker Society. She's a waitlist, but she... Her paintings are amazing. I don't know if you guys saw, but um, last month she did a strawberry door hanger and it coordinated with our strawberry tear tray. We kind of coordinated that. And um, I bought her, I mean, her door hangers are amazing. So if you want a really beautiful door or want to learn how to paint really beautiful door hangers, that's the place to go. So, oh, hey, Tammy. So, um, oh, for some reason, Juanita, the, the link is all wonky. Can you like just go? I must because I messaged it to you on Facebook. Um, I might still have it. Hold on. Let me let me see if I can drop this. We're gonna have to have a better method for that. Oh, thank you, Tammy. Yeah, the, the link is so wonky. Okay, so there's that link. This so she really does. The quality is amazing, her technique is amazing. Um, and she's probably one of the, I mean, I don't think enough people know that she teaches door hanger painting and how incredible it is. It's not just slapping some paint on a sign. Like she teaches you, um, all kinds of different techniques. And, um, if you want to sell door hangers, she can, she teaches you how to teach quality that you could sell them. Um, she also just teaches if you want to just have a new door hanger every month, which I kind of like, I was making them every month for a while, but I don't anymore. I mean, they're just that good. So sign maker society, I don't think it's open right now, but you can get on her wait list. And probably if you messaged her and told her, you just couldn't stand it. Um, Oh, signmakersandsociety.com. Well, you are. You're so awesome. I mean, she just, okay, when I unwrapped that sign, I was like, oh, my gosh. I mean, it's beautiful. You can message her, too. She would let you. And, I mean, it's a whole different, um, it, painting a door hanger like that with the techniques is a whole different you use the paint differently. There's different techniques than what I do on my um, tier trays. It's just a whole different school of thought. And like, I don't know if you guys saw that hydrangea one that she did over the summer. I mean, just, and, and she's such a good teacher because she can teach you how to like, if, if you want to go for like, if, if you're like super advanced and you've been doing it for a while, she can say, okay, use this technique. But if you're new and you just want to do this, she'll, she'll show you how to do that too. So, um, okay. Signmakersociety.com. Yes. She also sells like, if you, if you're like, Hey, um, I just want to try one of her wood blanks. She's got wood blanks for sale too, but really like not enough of people know that that's what she does. Um, and she's, Okay, here's what I know. Every time that I see her work on Etsy, I know it's her work. If, I, if I'm scrolling and I see something, I know it's hers. She's a very distinct style. It's very clean. It's very neat. It's very beautiful. And um, people are going to drive past your door when you have the door hangers up. You've painted from her and be like, holy cow. So that's my first one, Sign Maker Society. My second one, I've got it. This is my Cotton Chaos tee. So let me show you guys my pants. Look at this. Are these pants? Look. They're blue. I got, okay, these are from Thread Up. You guys know that I like my my thrift store clothes. <laughs> so I ordered these pants from Thread Up. And they are these little blue jeans. They're they're secondhand, but I love them. And then Cotton Chaos. This is, I'm in their Cotton Pig and T-shirt club. And look how cute this is. The bright colors. I'm in their Plus subscription, so I get their 
I got this too. And I was, I got my hair colored today and, um, she was like the girl that does my hair. She's like young and trendy and cute. And she was like, Oh my God, I love that bracelet. Those colors are so amazing. And I was like, she's like, everyone's wearing those colors now. And I was like, Oh, and I didn't know that, but cause I'm not young and trendy, but they're so cute and so fun. And so I just, I love all of their tees and they're so comfy. They fit well, they wash well. So if you're looking for a great t-shirt, hop over to cotton chaos. Um, and then we, we are going to craft tonight, yo. Um, okay. So Tammy's saying she loves her shirt. She gets the plus two. I want to go back and say this about Jen. Sign makers. Yes. You know what? And message Jen. I missed this message. If you want to chat with her about sign makers, just message her. She knows about brushes. Like she does, um, fancier stuff than makeup sponges. Um, <laughs> So, um, you will not regret it. Um, oh, Tammy, she says she loves my pool. If you guys go to my stories, Nate's in there swimming in the middle of like all the, I mean, he's in there swimming. Hey, Amy. So, Tammy, she says that you love their shirts and you get the plus two. Yeah. So, you know what about these bracelets? Even ask Joe, because he'll tell you, I'm not a big jewelry fan. If I can feel it, I don't like to wear it. And when I, I was like, oh, I don't know. But they're super comfy. And um, they actually, like, you can wear it with black. You can wear it with a whole bunch of stuff. And they even match my fingernails, which I did not do on purpose. Hey, Leanne. Um, so I'm hoping that this will bring the warm weather to Ohio. So I'm hoping for. My third one is red aspen nails. So... Um, Jen got me hooked on red Aspen nails and they're just, this is my, <laughs> so I have today. They're a little crazy today, but ever since I started, um, crafting online and doing YouTube videos and stuff, I am very self-conscious about my hands and I don't have time to go get my, my nails done. It's expensive, but I can just throw on some quick nail dashes and they look great and they last a long time. Like I've been wearing these for weeks. I've kind of changed out a couple of them today. I put the silver on, but, um, I love my red Aspen nails. I absolutely love them and they have so many great colors. And, um, yes, if I took these off, I could, you know, get the glue off, paint my fingernails and they would look fine. The only thing I did do was I glued one back on when I shouldn't have, and I um, made a dent in my nail bed and it's growing out. So don't glue them back on. If they've got bumps on the back, just get a new one, but, um, th they're great. I mean, they're great. And so even if you just want to keep them on hand for like, you're going out for the night, you're going somewhere for the weekend. Um, so I like them and you can wear them. You don't have to wear them all the time, you know, but I would much rather. And the other thing is I can't stand when they grow out because it drives me crazy. And so like at the salon, when they start to grow out, uh, so no, they, these do not make my nails thin Juanita. She's asking me this. They don't make my nails thin. Like I said, the mistake I made was, I don't know where I was, but one of them it fell off and I had nail glue. And so I glued it and I shouldn't have glued it back on because because the glue on the back was super bumpy and I squeezed it too hard and I dented my nail bed. But it's growing out and it's fine. Like it's it's it'll be fine. They don't get too thin at all. Um, Just don't glue one that has like a bump on the back and hold it down and press it in. I mean, so that was my mistake. But besides that, I mean, I'll, I could take this off and I could paint them. Um, so they, you have to, between nails, you need to like, you know, do your cuticles and all of that stuff, but they give you a little cuticle stick and use some cuticle oil and you, your nails clean up just fine. Um, yeah, Lisa say they're not like the ones you get done at the spa. No, they're still my nails underneath and my nails grow. Like I have to cut them back and they're, they're, they're strong. I mean, underneath, they're not like flimsy and peeling. So. Oh, Hey Kim. 
How are you? Oh, good. Congratulations, Nail Chief won something from Christy's craft room. We love Christy. We love her. She's so much fun, isn't she? So, um, Tammy, girl, I did mine between chasing the children. <laughs> so, <laughs> consider yourself. Yes, you're so cool. I'm glad you get to do that for yourself. I got my hair colored tonight, so I don't have any more gray down the middle. I was looking skunky. Let me add my camera in. Hey, Teresa from Painter Relaxations. So, um, let's, yeah, Color Street Juanita, I think, is different. Okay, this is a quick and simple one, mostly because Nate got in the pool. But we're going to make another cute scoop, but this time we're going to do a patriotic one. And I'm going to show you how to style it quickly. It's not going to be, um, just because the scoops are fun and easy and quick. So. Let me show you. Here's the scoop. And then we have three little stars. Right? And then this one is like, has a little tab to make it stand up. And then we've got the parts. You know, you always have to line them up before you paint, right? But I love that they have the, the front and the back. So you can... Yeah, if you have kids at home, oh my gosh. Like I was saying, I was getting ready to go live. And then the next thing I know, Nate, he wanted to get in the pool. He's been so worried about being able to get in the pool all day long. <laughs> and then this morning, he had a, um, he had a doctor's appointment. I'm going to do this one by itself. And so it's been, it's been a busy, and he had tutoring. It's been a busy day for him. And then these are our beads, our little beads. So I think I'm just going to go with like the red and the navy and the white, but I was thinking about doing the scoop in, in like the brown color again. Um, well, I was going to show you guys how you can take that scoop setup we did last week, just pop something different in and you barely have to change anything and it still looks great right and um and that's like that's kind of where i'm going with things is like we don't always have to do a major overhaul okay like sometimes we can just do a quick little change a quick little craft and make a big difference so it's just a quick little set I think you could paint the scoop white or red. Um, red would actually probably be really cute. But I kind of wanted to tie in some of like the, um, I don't know. Let me think. What do you guys think? I was thinking about doing the scoop in brown, but the gumball machines. Okay. Gumball machines. Dana. Have you been to Target to um, Hobby Lobby? They have them in the spring shop. The other place that you can find the gumball machines are. I know I look like if you look on Facebook Marketplace, that's where I got a lot of mine because so the whole gumball fad. So here's what I was thinking. I was thinking about doing the back, like um the back's probably in white and then like red and blue on the top to sh that shows through. So let's do these first. Red, blue. Let's just do some in red, some in blue. Yeah, we're not going to overcomplicate this. I probably will. You guys think about the scoop. What do you think about the scoop? I was thinking about doing like a brown, like a decor wax. Um... But it would also look really cute in red. But then this would have to be white, blue, like blue, white, blue. If you wanted to take the time, you could paint those little stars different colors. Where, do you, where are you guys? So Mary Beth is finding them at. So Target had them for a while. Hobby Lobby has, I know I saw them at Hobby Lobby. Amazon has some. Um, and if you look on Facebook Marketplace, a lot of times you're going to find them locally for between six and, and like 
$13 is what I've seen. You think the scoop should be red? That's what I'm thinking, Jen. I think the scoop should be red. I think this should be white and then blue, white, blue. Black scoop. Um, I'm going to put it in the white gumball machine. Only because the red gumball machine. I have a black one, but the reds I think are too hard to match. I was looking back at my red. And I don't even like the color red that I have. So I think I'm going to get some uh, multi-service acrylic or some chalk paint. I'm going to paint it. Because you can paint like the glass part and the little top. But... Scoop is red. They were around $20 on Amazon. That's what I saw on Amazon, but you're also paying for shipping. Like, I know it says free shipping, but you guys, the shipping's really not free. I mean, they build it in there. And they they, they build it into the price and the volume that they do. Um, Hobby Lobby, if you can find them in the spring shop, you find them on sale. We might, I might just have to buy a bunch and give some away when I find them next time. Okay, so let's paint the scoop red and see what we think. I'm going to move these to the side. Let's paint the scoop red. Oh, Dana's in a small town. The bl yeah, I have a I have a black one, a white one. I don't like the color red. I have two, I have a red one, and then I have the white popcorn machine and the red popcorn machine. Um, so where we live, like literally it is so quiet here. Did you guys see that? Like I'm, I'm surrounded by trees. If you saw that this morning where I showed you guys where they were bringing in the pool, I mean, that's our backyard. We've got all these trees. It's really quiet. It feels really private. I'm not kidding. I could get on my bike and I could ride less than a mile. I'd be at target. No joke. I could ride my bike to Kroger. And I'm not kidding, like, but it just, it just is how this area is kind of developed. It's, it's wild. I'm going to paint this one side. I'm going to let it dry. I want to flip it over and I want to paint the back of my scoop, just this one so that it, um, if it flips around, you can see the back. Um, Oh, Tammy, have you painted the gumball machines before you painted it with spray paint? Tammy says she spray painted and it works best on the gumball machines. That's good to know. Do you just tape it off? Is that what you did? Like tape off the glass? I mean, I know you can clean that off. Um, Teresa is asking if I keep gumball machine filler in my shop all the time. So... That's a funny story. So, no, um, when I had my Etsy shop, I used to sell it, like, painted. And, like, I would, like, I would sell so much of that that I would just, um, like, paint whole sheets and then run it through the machine and then peel it and then touch it up. But I haven't done it, like, unpainted until last week. And we, I was just kind of like, well, let's try this. I think it'll be fun. And everybody really loved it. It's been, and it was a lot of fun. I need one of these to be red. I think I'm, I'm going to do this. I don't know why it's such a big deal in my head. I need this one to be red. So yeah. Okay. Jen told me to save these um, shipping labels and paint on them. And I was like, I'm not doing that. I've probably told you guys this every week, but um, I love it because I can just move it and then come back to it. It's great. So if you guys are shipping, if, you, if any of you guys use lots of shipping labels. Okay, this one's red. This one's blue. Nate totally distracted me. He was like, getting in the pool. Like he was seriously not going to let that one go. Just tape the glass. Do you, so, Tammy, they're wanting to know if you have to use a special special paint. Um, Verdana is asking if I... So, anyone who ordered gumball fillers... So, it takes me about... Once you order, 
unless it I tell you that it's like cut and ready to go. It takes me five to eight business days. And I started cutting the gumball fillers yesterday. So those should all go out Monday, I think. So yeah, if you ordered the gumball fillers, they should go out Monday. That is really cute. Let's see, this one I think goes on here. Wait, yeah. Let's do this. I'm going to paint the backgrounds white. Unless someone thinks I need to like switch it up and do one of these with white in the front. Maybe I do. Maybe I need to do white in the front of one of these and like blue in the back. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, I think I'm going to try that. So yeah, so just because in it, Verdana, it depends. Like if I'm normal, normal processing is, is about five business days before I ship it. If I'm really backed up or if I'm shipping boxes, it, it's eight, but I've got most of those. I've got a lot of them cut. So I'm going to do this white. I'm going to do this one blue. This one is just a little smaller. Oh, Monday's a holiday? Oh, it's Juneteenth. It is a holiday. Juneteenth is Monday. We will be celebrating Juneteenth. And yes, then it's going out Tuesday. Unless it goes out tomorrow. And we shall see. We shall see. Yeah, I do my best to get them out quicker. But sometimes... And depending on how the orders come in, um, that's going to be white. That's blue. Okay, so the beads. We said red, white, blue, white, blue. I'm going to paint these blue. If you really wanted to, you could go in and paint these like super fancy. Like you could paint all of those stripes. You could really make it. Okay, so guys, I moved my um, strawberry tray upstairs into my kitchen. The one we did in the Joyful Crafting Club last month. I got to take a picture and show you. I moved it onto a different tray. It looks so cute upstairs. I'm still enjoying that tray. So since you guys have a holiday weekend, what are y'all doing? Okay, so... You just use spray paint from Walmart, Tammy, to spray those. Will you let us know? Because I think a lot of us want to spray them now. Okay, those are those, the beads. I'm going to do one in white and one in blue. Oh, I didn't realize that. Oh, that's cute. They're they're scored on both sides. I didn't even notice that. So what do y'all doing for the holiday? So I'm hoping I can... Oh, you're going to the chiropractor. Nothing. So... You're going to Leavenworth. Is that a like a special? Is it antique? Is it what goes on there? Working. Yeah, like I didn't even. I know the libraries are closed, so I don't know what we're gonna do. We we have tutoring at the library on usually on Mondays. So I don't know what we're gonna do about that. My I like my white paint. Someone remind me to buy white paint. Like, Amy, go to Hobby Lobby, buy white paint, buy gumball machines. Okay. I think this one's going to be white. I'm going to go white. I think the red scoop is going to be cute. My red might need another, I don't know, it's covering pretty well, actually. White, white, white. This is white. White. 
Bye, Miss Donna. Donna's got to catch up later. I'm going to try not to smash the paint down into the paint lines. Um... With the, the navy paint, it's it's dark anyway, and so you're not really going to see a whole lot of contrast with the, the score marks. But even with the white paint, I try and keep it a little cleaner if I can. Just depends. Yeah, so Monday, they usually... Nate's got tutoring in the morning. Usually they have... Um, reading tutoring after lunch I know we have a lot of tutoring this summer and I know we're still going to our regular morning tutoring I don't know what we're going to do about the reading tutoring at the library because we need somewhere to meet um okay so those are pretty much done see this one's not this one's pretty simple we'll just go back and distress it I don't need to paint these because these are my bead spacers, right? And I'm just going to hit these stars really quick. I hear Joe walking around upstairs. We have been, um, oh yeah, Father's Day. What are y'all doing? Is anyone doing anything special for Father's Day? Joe said he doesn't want to do anything. He's not a big, like, he's not big on celebrations. I might make him, like, a special dessert. But, I, um, I know Joe needs to come down and say hi. I wonder if Amy Humphreys is busy tonight. She popped on and said hi and she had to run. I know. So... I'm gonna just, I think this will look really cute with a blue popping through. Hey, Juanita, will you pick a couple names and just pop, just randomly pick a couple names and pop them in the comments and then message them to me so that I have them. Um, I'll paint this one white too. This is how easy this is. Okay. All right. These are names for the joyful jar. Actually, I can just write them down. You don't have to message them to me. For the joyful jar. Last month, I have to post the names. I have them right there. Oh, <laughs> your son asked. Your dad said you didn't do anything for you. So, no. <laughs> Gail, I know. You know what? I, I think Joe and I have decided like that the pool will probably be our present for like the next many, many years. Dana, congratulations. You're going in the joyful jar. Joe says he likes flag day. Okay. So I'm going to write some names down. So Dana... And Lisa Ann, you're going in the joyful jar. Congrats. Woohoo. <laughs> Gail, Gail's like, pick me. She's like, I just, I love winning. I know, right? I'm always like, I, I like to win too. Okay. Yay. Okay, let's put this up and I'll put a little more white on this. I love decorating for, for um, 4th of July. It's just such a fun holiday. 
Congratulations. Yeah, you know what? We've got, honestly, so much to catch up on around here that if Joe, I mean, it's just, we just have a ton to catch up on. We've got, um, so we had someone come to hook up the laser this week and like cut a hole for venting. And he said he couldn't cut the hole. So we're on plan B. Plan A was like, this is the back. Um, plan A was cut a hole in the wall. They said they can't cut a hole in the wall. So plan B is going to be to vent through the window. So that is plan B this weekend. And then we're going to get, we've got to get some space cleared out down here and we've got to re move the other laser. I mean, we've got a lot to do. And sometimes too, with the kids, it's just, you get things done at half speed. Honestly, nothing happens at full speed. Um, I really wanted to tablescape. Do any of you guys, does anyone tablescape? Like I saw Hobby Lobby had the cutest like 4th of July place settings, but it was so expensive. I mean, it was just, it was way more than what I really wanted to spend. And I was hoping I can get it on clearance. Like, I mean, it was just insanely expensive. It was insanely expensive. Oh, yeah, the boils. The boils are fun. My girlfriend used to do crawfish boil. And we go to her house and they do the whole, they just dump it out on the table. They are fun. They are super fun. Okay, so we're not really going to eat at the table. I mean, I just want it to look pretty. I've, I like saw too much, looked at too many Instagram posts is probably what happened there. Oh my gosh, you guys are making me hungry. So Dana, a tablescape is like, um, it's probably something that only people on Instagram who like the fancy people on Instagram do. Um, but you like set the table with like theme decor and then you put like cute place settings and, um, you know, like, I don't know. I mean, I've never really done it, but it looks like it would be pretty. Um, and then, <laughs> this is our house, Tammy. We're always like, let's clear the kids stuff off the table so we can have dinner. Let's clear off the table so we can set the table. So, <laughs> ah, so, um, it's like, you know, and then you have like pretty glasses and like, Okay, so if you go over to Instagram, like, I don't see as many people. Well, I don't know. It's not really my my thing on Facebook, like mine, you know. But if you go over on Instagram, like, oh, gosh. um, Graceful Home and Hound, my friend Kimri, she does. Sometimes she'll tablescape. It's just like a really, we have like a dining room. I know like a lot of people don't have dining rooms anymore, but our house is 30 years old. So we have a dining room and I have like a set that I got off Craigslist for 50 bucks. And so, um, I had someone paint it and I would like to, um, I don't know. I just want to, it's the only room that is ever, okay. There's crap piled on that table too right now. Left over from school. Actually, Joe moved it there from the kitchen. So I have to go through that and decide what to throw out and what to keep from their school year last year. But after I did that, then I can tablescape. Yeah. It's like, it's like a theme. Yeah. You just do it like a theme, like, you know, 4th of July or whatever. And it's really pretty and it's fun. Oh, Tammy says Rustoleum paint. Your mom does it all the time. She switches for seasons. Yeah. Just, just, I would like to do a 4th of July. 
I thought about doing Christmas, but then by the time you like, decorate everything else for Christmas, like, come on, guys. We aren't fancy. We, like, we are very, there's really not enough time. I probably just, like, in my head, think, like, someday it would be really nice to be able to have, like, a pretty table setting. Lisa, I know, right? Yeah, they're like, yeah, you can just do what you have to do. I know, I know. But they do have some, and we got like down this crazy rabbit hole because we're talking about all the great, Hobby Lobby has some great 4th of July decor. They really do. They really do. Yeah, no, we are not fancy at all. I, I think, like, I would like things to be a little more organized than they are. Jen, your table is your crafting area. Yep, Gail, I know. Or, and Jen, we're not fancy. No, no. I like to look at the fancy stuff. Like, oh, see there, I missed some tape. Hold on. But, yeah. It's just really pretty. We don't, you don't really, I don't think that you really eat. Okay, so I, I don't know. I'm not really sure if you eat at one of those tables or not. I would not eat there. Um, I would just leave it up to look at. I would not necessarily eat there. And that's the truth. Like eating there would like, after all of that work. And plus, like, I can't keep the balls out of the house. Like, the kids are always either kicking a ball, throwing a ball, the football, the soccer ball. That's what I think too, Juanita. I don't really think that you eat there. I think it's a decoration. Like, I don't think... I do not think that they, that it's like they set the table like that every night for dinner. No, I do not think that at all. If they do, then probably just way too much time. But it is very pretty. Okay. Yeah, they have a massive tier. I know. Like, we have to, like, concentrate our effort on one small space. And we feel very good about that. Um, so, yeah, it depends on how big. Yeah, that's true. Yep. We, um. Yeah, we still have got the kids. And so, we've got. Yeah, just a big tear tray. We just have to focus our effort on what we can manage. You guys are you guys are a riot. No. A lot of nights we're like so Joe and I are just like just just let the kids eat on paper plates because we're too tired to clean it up. <laughs> So, yeah, most of the times that's us. We're like just paper plates because we are too tired to clean it up. Okay. Okay. Well, hey, Amy Hoadley. Girl, I was thinking about you. So, um, I meant to, well, today was just been crazy, but we need to plan our little tray styling night pick a date um to talk about like styling with candles and the different kinds of candles you can use on your trays and all of that fun stuff so, <laughs> Well, I guess you guys would not want, what are those like 
So Nate's, um, Nate's kindergarten teacher. Um, she had me make like these. They're like words that go across the plate. Excuse me. For her Christmas table. And they were like, you cut them out of wood. And so it said like, Mary, Joy, Peace. And they have like tails on each end and you set them on a plate. As part of like your place setting at Christmas. Okay, yeah, Amy, box for me tomorrow, girl, or tonight, whatever. Um, we'll get it figured out. I know we were going to do that when we were in, um, where were we, Dallas? But we just, it was just flew by. Okay, that's cute. Oh, I like the red scoop. Okay, I'm going to put, um, yeah, we don't. I don't know. We used to use, I'm not really sure when Joe and I got so tired that we started using paper plates because for a long time, when Joe's mom would come to visit, she'd be like, why are you guys eating off of like regular plates? Like, why don't you just like use paper plates and throw it away? And I was like, oh no, no, we're not doing that. Like I'm not adding to the landfill. I know. And, and like, now I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm just, I'm so tired. Please, <laughs> please <laughs> just just do this. I think too, once the kids, honestly, the kids got a little bigger and they got busier. Um, it, it makes the weeknights really hectic. And sometimes there's just, there's not enough people. There's not enough hands. Like if it's only one of us home, well, we've got to feed the kids, make sure that they don't, you know, flood the bathroom when they take a shower. So I just want to, I don't know if you guys can see, I didn't put the, the, um, to dur clear on this end, but I put it on the one side. Do you see the difference in the paint The this is why I like it. It just brings out the richness in the paint. It's just really pretty. Okay, I started with red, which was a bad idea because the red, see, it comes off on here. So you just want to make sure you don't take this red and put it on your white because you're going to have to start over. But it just does kind of, and this is really a small set to it. Because I, um, oh, I just got decor wax in the stars, but we'll get it out. No big deal. It does. It really, it makes a difference and it, it just puts a nice finish on it. I'm just going to pick that out of there, but yeah, we actually now have three different sizes of paperware. I shouldn't even admit that. We also have a spoon shortage. Does anybody else have a spoon shortage? Like for some reason, all of, our, <laughs> all of our spoons disappear our regular like small spoons that one would eat with like, you know, not a soup spoon, but just a normal spoon, like a tablespoon that you would eat, not a, not a measuring tablespoon, but for some reason they all disappear and I have a spoon shortage. And so, <laughs> and so sometimes we have to use plastic spoons because we're out of spoons for the day. And I have not, I don't know. I tried to find like spoons to match our silverware and I can't. And I, that means I have to buy a whole another set, which is just a little overwhelming. Where can you get the, the, so we, we have, <laughs> we have a spoon shortage and we've had a spoon shortage for years. I can't believe I'm admitting this. It's embarrassing, but we don't have enough spoons. Um, and so, and every time I go to look at silverware, I just, I get overwhelmed and I think I don't like any of it. And so I'm just going to stick with my spoon shortage. Um, do they just take off with the spoons? Um, 
they just oh excuse me we had to get i did up at like 5 30 because we had to be downtown for a doctor's appointment at eight this morning okay so i'm not the only one with this shortage i don't feel so bad this is really good news So, okay, I am not the only one. This feels much better. Yeah, so the, you know what else they do? What I'm going to do the white next so that I can just move right over to the to the blue. Yeah, I don't know. I but it's I I need to I I do need to find some more spoons that I like or another silverware set that I like. Yeah, I think they do, Amy. Like they take you will never believe what I find outside. So I found I have um these scissors that I um used when I cooked, and they're oh, they're a certain brand, but they'll like cut through a chicken bone. So if you're um if you spatchcock a chicken or you break a chicken down, so spatchcock means you cut it down the spine and lay it flat to bake it, and then it bakes like in 35 minutes a whole chicken. Or if you're breaking a chicken down and you want to um, like break it into parts and you don't want to use a knife, you and you can use these scissors and they'll cut right through the bones. And I've had them forever. I want to say Joyce Chen is the brand. And I found them outside hanging in a tree. I don't know what. I don't know what they were doing with my poultry scissors outside in a tree, but legitimately like they were out there hanging in a tree. And I was like, I mean, I just ran through the dishwasher, but yeah, they're either, they have dug with them outside. Or like I remember my dad used to get so frustrated because he could never, like we would take his nail clippers all the time. Right. And so Yep, same thing. The nail clippers disappear. Like, everything disappears. So we try not to let them take food out of the kitchen. Just because. I mean, there's a lot of things that could happen. We find it, like, they'll just leave it there. You guys have had kids, you know. They just leave it. The other great thing, if you haven't used the DuraClear, Dana, is um, it dries really quickly. Oh, Gail, you serve 9 to 12. That's awesome. Oh, I just did the wrong color. That's satin. I don't want satin. I didn't put two. You're missing, Jen's missing craft supplies. Okay, they did make off with all my Sharpies last weekend. I will tell you that they did. That is, and they were taking all of my boxes for shipping. And they were building things and drawing cartoons on my boxes. And they took all of the Sharpies. And I was freaking out. Because they, because you know, sometimes I use them to paint and they were like, they, they smashed the tips. But I did let them use them. I, I'm gonna, I did. I just told them to be nice with them. They probably ruined them. Yeah, drink some food, stay in the kitchen. Yeah, because you never know what's gonna happen with that stuff. Like, it just can go. Like, they'll just leave. Nate eats lots of cucumbers. And he has this, like, bedside table that on his bunk bed. Just leave it on there. A few days later, you find a rotten cucumber. And that's just kind of how things go. He's probably one of the few children that run around with a cucumber. But, all right. Let's put this thing together. I'm going to do the back of this real quick. Even though it's not exactly color that okay I'm gonna let this dry this dries so fast Dana the um Dora clear it's a lickety split 
Oh, I know, Jen. Like, they go after the markers. Jen says she threatens her kids. They know not to touch her markers. I'm telling you. I was walking this fine line between... Um, I've got kids, you know, who... Like, Nate, he, he doesn't often want to draw or anything because it's all really hard for him because he has dysgraphia. And so I'm walking this fine line between, like, you know, do I... You know, do I, I know this is loud. Do I get really upset about it? Or do I just say, oh, no, okay. So, Chris, I think I told you guys this, but I found the DuraClear. The first time I found it was at Pop Shelf. When we were on vacation at Myrtle Beach last spring break. God, it's been so long since we took vacation. We didn't go this year because I can't, things were just crazy. The kids, um, okay, so I'm going to put this together like I always tell you guys to do just so I know I've got all my pieces and they match up because the, like the last thing you want to do is like go to put this together and have everything be wrong or you painted the wrong side or whatever. Yeah, I love the door clear. It's like one of my favorite painting supplies. I think everyone should have some. It's inexpensive. You don't have to take it outside to spray. And I know like you can take it outside to spray. Right? I'm not. It, that's. But I love it because you, you don't have to. And it dries really quickly. Like. I mean you saw how quickly this dries. Within minutes. So it's not like I have to spray it and then wait a long time before I can touch it again. Hey Jen. Do you have a link for that, um, the quiet, um, you know what I'm talking about? Oh my God. What is that called? You, I know you know what I'm talking about. Don't make me make the noise again. <laughs> um, oh, I know you know what I'm talking about. This set is really cute, Dana. Yeah. It's, um, yeah, we are playing charades, Gail. <laughs> so it's, um, it's like if you paint your stuff. Yes, Mary Beth, a heat gun. Yes, I'm tired. Thank you. Okay, I've got to get a new heat gun because we're, we're redoing this space and I need to keep the heat gun um, over with where I wrap stuff. So I'm going to get the quiet heat gun for online usage. Heat gun, yes. Yes, that's what I need, guys. Let me get my clamps. Okay, I'm going to turn this. You guys can see better when I put this together. So these little ones are going to go in here. What do we do? Red. I went like this. And then this is white. Super cute. Super, super cute. Okay. These are for the beads. So these halves just go... On the inside like this. Yeah, I need that heat gun thing. Winner, winner. Yep, that's it. Yes, yes. Thank you, guys. Let's see if I can get my stripes to go the same way. Um, I've got to get a new one. I know, and this it's quick and simple, right? This is not, this is not a tricky one. So the one thing we learned about these beads, right, is that you either have to get the placement just right or you have to, um, um, use something that's going to set in a minute, like not set right away, right? I'm over here spraying because, yeah. Super cute. Oh, come on. There we go. I'm just going to move this around a little bit. It's not lining up the way I want it to. 
Well, there we go. Okay. So, got that. I'm not really sure that one was supposed to go on there, but that's where I put it. It looks like it's a little bigger. But it's everything else lines up, so I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to be a little bigger. Super cute. Thank you, Juanita. Oh, there we go. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Jen. Yeah, I've got to order that. I have a list of things I've got to get. Joe was so cute. So we were, he, he came down and he was like helping me rework this whole space because we've got to rework it, right? We're trying to figure out the flow of things. And he drew me a little map. And, like, made a list of everything I need to buy to make things flow better. How cute is that? All right. Super cute. Um, so, if the link isn't pulling up in the comment, copy and paste it, Gail. And then afterwards, I usually go into, I'll go into YouTube. And I'll, um... I update the links there a lot of times. Sometimes you just copy and paste it. So I don't know, too. Facebook probably has some kind of thing where they... My fingers are sticky. Well, but is it while the video is live? Okay. I've watched a lot of Facebook lives, but I haven't. It's been a little bit since I've had time to watch. Well, I watch Jen's a lot. Let's just say that. Okay. I'm just flipping my, my lid. Um. Um, and you know what? It could just be. So here's the thing about Facebook is that there's like um, 15 different versions at once because when they make changes, there's so many users, they can't roll them out to everybody all at once. So if we sat down and we looked at our apps together, like we opened our Facebook apps, we would probably all have a different version of Facebook. And it's just like they make an update and they might not, everyone may not get it at once. So like how you access things is different. So I'm just cleaning up my edges. This is just one way to do it. Um, so it could just be that Gail has a different version of Facebook that's rolled out on her app. Or um, it could be that the app needs an update. Sometimes the apps just get glitchy. If, if you're on an app, I don't know if you're on an app or a desktop. Um, you can sometimes, um, it's just all different things. You know, like one day you do things one way. For a long time, you accessed guides by that little hamburger in the group. We were talking about this before. And now you don't. No one could, now when you go there, you get to those chats. Which you can tell I'm not happy about the chats. Okay, so we're going to do these. Um, you know I'm going to do? I think... Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do this. Let's try this. Hold on, hold on. Come on. Oh, I forgot I've got to put the thread through here. And I wanted to ask you guys what you think. Okay, so I was wondering. I'm just going to do this side. I'm going to let this dry and we'll do it in a minute. Okay, let's do this one, and then we will. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, Jen is gonna it has got the um Yeah, there's a specific reason that she uses this heat gun instead of the hair dryer. Here, I'll tell you why. No, right here. So Jen says that the heat gun works just as good as a hair dryer. The only difference is that it's quiet and it doesn't blow as much hair as the air dryer. So you don't have to worry about things blowing off the table when you use it. And that was why. So I have that industrial one and it's like very loud. Um, but that's why I wanted one that was a little quieter. There we go. All right, let me glue this together. Um, and I remember Jen saying, like, you can barely hear it on the lives. And I would love to have a quieter heat gun so that I'm not like, Arr! plus, I think mine gets super hot on the end. Does yours get super hot? Mine has that metal nozzle and it gets like blazing hot. Look how cute the scoop is. I think it needs a little decor wax. Yeah, it's Facebook is just it just does things differently. Okay. Let me glue these in. So you could really go back in and paint a lot of detail on these stars too. You could put polka dots, you could splatter paint. I got glue on that. I'll fix it in a minute. It just depends how much time you want to take. So we could have gone in and painted these like, like you could do a different color in the middle. I think that those tiny pieces are easier to paint like that when you have um, paint markers, honestly, to get them just right. And then you have to have, a, you know, I wanted them to match. So it would look cute with some splatter. Okay, for this, I was wondering, I'm not sure that this is the right, and it might be. Yes or no on the red and white gingham? Or should we just go with my standard jute? I'm kind of thinking the jute. Yes, no, I know Jen's like, Jen's like, you think it needs a bow or something? Like on the America? Okay. I feel like you get that in there with the rest of it. If you're going to do it, you need like navy. Let's go here. We had to do something specific to get this. Oh, you know what we did? I remember now. So, Gail, you have a Walmart discount card. I know I don't have any, I don't have any small patriotic ribbon. I have a lot of big patriotic ribbon. 
Um, Gail, I use my paint markers all the time. Okay. I think. Yeah. Okay. So then you have to put your, yeah, and I don't have, and the thing is it's a navy blue. It's not a, the paint isn't like a bright blue, which I think it's tricky, right? I mean, in my personal opinion. So I've got lots of scoops. I have sports and lemonade and I've got all kinds of fun scoops. Okay, so, and then the other question is, do you just put this, like this, oh, it kind of is just cute with the two stars right on top of each other. Okay, I'm just thinking. I tried to go to Dollar Tree twice today to see if they have anything like patriotic for um, you guys to use on your tier trays. But Nate just wasn't having it today. He was not up for a Walmart run. Okay. That is really super cute. Look at this. This is really cute. Oh, I know why it's doing that because I put the, the wax on top or the, um, that's why I did that. Okay. Hold on. Dude, it's very cute. It is very, very cute. In one shake. I'm going to touch this up and then we're going to, we're going to put it all together. I'm going to show you what I mean by just making a quick switch. But I'm going to get all this craziness out of the way first. Okay. Let's get this stuff out of the way. My tray's naked. Because we didn't... Um, we haven't styled our tray in, in the Joyful Crafting Club yet. I was just going to put the pieces up there, but I just didn't get it done. Okay, let me move all this. This tape. Trash. Okay. All right. It is, it's, it's cute and it's simple, right? It's, it's, um... If you're like, hey, I don't have a ton of time to craft or I want to just do a small set or I want a small set to add to my bigger set, right? I think you need options. So let me show you. Okay. Okay. I'm going to get catch all. Okay. okay, so this is the same jar. I've got the... um. So, remember I showed you guys those other, I have styrofoam, too. they're not styrofoam, they kind of are, but they're covered in gingham, I found those too, you do this, and then this one is the one that kind of stands up, see, it's very so you can see better, we got glare from the studio lights, see, Kind of stands up and then you can pop the rest of these in here and style them you kind of have to hold this one in place a little bit and pop these in here so you just leave it like that and you can add more like behind if you want it to be like 2d do you know what i mean like you want to be able to see from all sides and put this little 
this little blue one down here. And then you pop the top on. See how cute that is? I don't have it in there just right, but it's kind of, you kind of have to have it still and then get them all the way you want them. You can't move them because they kind of wiggle and jiggle. But you guys get the idea. And then you take your scoop and you can tie it off where you want it. Let's see, I think I'm going to tie it off about right here. Let's see. Yeah. It is super cute. Yeah, the jar spacers are... Um, no, the glass doesn't remove. So this is all one piece scale. And that's why I've got that riser in there. Because they're hard to stop. I, I don't think that whoever made these initially thought that they would catch on as like this home decor item. I think people thought that they were just going to be like candy jars. And so you could fill it with like candy jars and put it in your kitchen, right? But what's happened is people have taken them and they've started styling with them. Um, Julie, my our friend Jen and I... We, our friend Julie from Julie's Reese Boutique, she's got a pink one for her studio. And so it's all one piece, but they're really hard to style because they, this whole part is full. So you're either, or empty. So you're either jamming like tissue paper or filler or styrofoam in there. And then you kind of have to make it so you can't see it. But what I love about this um, little riser is that you can cover it up and you can paint that little flat piece to match your jar and then you don't have to worry about um, about filling it. You can just put your stuff on top. So it's a super cute addition, right? And then I'm just going to bring back the same candle we used last week on. A, this is a $2.99 pedestal from, um, I think it's almost exactly the same as when Juanita had in her tray that she styled and put in the, um, the Maker's Tribe and Joyful Crafting Club. She had a book stack sitting on hers. Just pop a candle on there. And then these are just little fire um, fireworks that we made this month in the Joyful Crafting Club. But you could put any like little sign there. I just grabbed these because we just made them. And I think they're cute. And I thought it was like a fun change. And there you go. So how cute is that? I want a pink one too. It's super cute. So, and then if you had like a, um, I mean, you could light the candle or if you had like an electronic, you can just set it to go on at any certain time. Um, I do not, in typical Amy fashion, these little um, scoops, this one is not on the site yet. They just cut it tonight, but I will get them up and send it out. Um, yes, you guys are going to, I'm going to, you know what? I'm also going to go, I am going to see if, I, oh my gosh, Jennifer, I'm going to say it out loud and I'm not going to be able to find them. If I can find some gumball machines, I um, will give one away this month or maybe two. We'll see how many I can find, but um, I'm not really sure I'm going to ship them. I'm going to have to get some like stuff, but yeah, I'll see if I can find some and gift them this month for the drawing. Cause I think we're going to make some more scoops. <laughs> so anyway, um, but we'll, we'll give some so that you guys that can't find them. will have a chance to maybe win one. So that's what we got for Friday night. Um, thank you guys for hanging out and crafting with me. Oh, Juanita pick. Can you pick three more names for me? I'm going to tell my, these are my two winners from last month. I have to send you something. I'm going to post it tomorrow. Chris Keltner and Kim Harwood. You were from last month. You were a happy meal from last month. Um, I know it's the middle of June, but I went out of town and the kids got out of school. So, I, but I owe you guys um, a happy meal prize. So, um, yeah, Juanita's going to pick a couple more, a few more names. I know, Chris, I, they've been sitting here on my thing. So I was going to look back at and figure out something, 
to send y'all. That was for last month. Oh, Kim, you're like, you'll just come pick it up. <laughs> I know. We got to do a crafting thing in Ohio. Maybe we can get Jen to fly in. Okay, Th that was last month. But Juanita's going to pick three more names for me to put in the in the jaw for this month. Okay. Yes. Okay, Tammy W, Gail, and Kim C. Okay. Tammy Waterworth. I know I can figure out how to ship them. It's just it's not what I usually ship something, and I think I pitched all of like the, but we'll get some. Gail Nichols. And Kim C. All right, guys. Into, into the jar. Someday I'm going to make this jar look cute. I just never do. The joyful jar. And then... I put your names on my computer, Kim and Chris, for um, the Happy Meal from last month. I'm going to ship you guys something. So, thanks for hanging out with me. Um, and I'll see you guys all soon. I'm going to do I didn't get the unboxing done this week. It was a, the kids. So hopefully tomorrow I can unbox the joyful crafting club. We'll get it done. We will get it done. Mwah. Have a great day. Have a great night. Sweet dreams, everybody. Love y'all. And, um, I'll chat with y'all really soon. It was fun. Thank you guys so much. Good night. Good night. Mwah. Sleep tight.